Welcome to the Israelite School UPK. Starting out one West on 25th Street, Hall, New York. Under the manager of Yahana. One West on 25th Street. Since 1969, we've been teaching the truth or according to the Bible. Today is the Hebrew class. Today we're going to focus on uh, Hebrew terms and making sure that you understand that the Hebrew is not Yiddish and Yiddish is not Hebrew. Or else they would not have different names. It would all be just Hebrew. But Yiddish does not count as Hebrew and it cannot be used or substituted as Hebrew. Hebrew is its own language. Uh, and it's not Yiddish. Okay? The quicker we understand that, the better. Yiddish and Hebrew are two totally different languages. There are some parts, some Hebrew influence in Yiddish, but it is in fact a different, a different language. Okay, that we that you're speaking when you say that. When you speak about uh, Yiddish, okay? Let me get my uh, notes together. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to start with the Lashawan Kodash. That word, Lashawan Kodash. What does it mean? Uh, La Sha Wan. Kodash. All right, Lashawan Kodash. Okay, Lashawan Kodash means uh, holy tongue. Holy tongue. Okay. Holy tongue. Kodash means holy. Tongue is Lashawan. Holy. And then, oh, Kodash. All right, Kodash is holy. Lashawan is tongue. All right. That is the way you say Hebrew, or not exactly Hebrew, that's how you pronounce the uh, language, Lashawan Kodash, is not Yiddish, okay? Do, do not think when you're talking Yiddish or you're speaking Yiddish or listening to Yiddish that you are listening to the Lashawan Kodash or the Hebrew or the Holy Tongue. Do not get them confused, okay? Shalom, okay? Not Hebrew. Okay, it's Yiddish. All right, Yiddish is Germanic tongue. German is German first, then Hebrew after. So it's German with the Hebrew ex with Hebrew accents it's on it. Okay, but it's technically more German than Hebrew. Shalom is Yiddish. Okay, anything with matzah. Yiddish. It's not Hebrew. Okay, it's all Yiddish. Alright. Uh, zit zits. It's not Hebrew. It's Yiddish. It's garbage. Throw it away. 
Get rid of it. Okay? Get rid of it. Get out your, get out your mind. Get, 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 anything you learn that has those words with it, throw it away. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage. It's just not Hebrew. It is German. Okay? You 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 a person who don't who speaks Hebrew will not understand you. A person who speaks German will understand you damn near. You can have a damn near a whole conversation. Okay? Because Yiddish is German. It's German. Or a Germanic tongue. That's what that is. The Germanic tongue. Germania. Okay? That's what it has to do with that. It does not have to do with the Lashawan Fadash. So, let's take a change of caption. You want to stick with the ancient Hebrew, not the German. Not anything Germanic. Lots of you been learning that because you've been learning from the oppressor. You've been learning from the oppressor what our so-called language and tongue is instead of learning from our own people who've studied and, and brought out the language. Ask any scholar on earth that knows, it, that knows their, their stuff. They will tell you Yiddish is Germanic. Okay? It's on Google for Christ's sakes. Yeah, it's not nothing you gotta search hard to find out. Google it. So that's all you have to do. Shalom. Alright. Alright. So Now let's learn some real Hebrew. Shawan Kadash, okay? The holy tongue. The holy tongue. That's what we're gonna learn today. start with the alphabet. Alright. Ah. Ba. And it's not Aleph or Ba or Daleth or, or Death or none of that. Okay? It's no TH in the pronunciation of these letters. Abba, Abba. It's not no Gimel or none of that. Abba, Abba. It's not Dalit. It's not Dalit. This is not Hebrew. That's not Hebrew. Okay? You see that in these Bibles and these different places and things like that? Don't. Uh, give it any credence. That is Yiddish. That is not Hebrew. That's German. Okay? Aleph. Gimel. Uh, whatever they want. However they say it. No. All that 
it's Yiddish. Get rid of it. I got da ha. Wa. Za. Okay. It's N. It starts from right to left. Okay? Right to left. Don't it's not like English, it's the opposite of English. Ha. Ta. Okay. Ya. Ka. La. Ma. Na. Sa. I pa to za. This is not z. It's no z z. Okay, that is German. Okay, you cannot mix any other language with the holy tongue. That makes it unholy. Wa, ra, sha, da. All right, this right here is the Lashawan Padash, the holy tongue. And it's Kodash, not Kodesh. Kodesh. All these other old Kodesh with these other spellings and stuff is not Kodesh, it's Kodash. Okay? It's not Kodesh, it's Yiddish. You will see. Yes, I'll break down Shalom. You'll see Kodesh a lot. Kodesh. Q U D E. Q O D E. As if you notice, you look at the language, the letters, there is no O. There's no O. There is no U. So you can't have. Shalom. Alright. There is no O and there is no U in the Hebrew. Alright, what you got? A E I O U. There's no E, O, or U. The letter E, the letter O. Or the letter U. It's not in it. So anything you see you hear or see with these letters in it, you can rest assured that it's not ancient Hebrew. Okay? It's not ancient Hebrew, it's not in the text. Alright? Now, let me get some proof for people who may not know that. The same ancient Hebrew that we teach here is what's commonly known as the first letters. So we're going to get. All right. Now if you take a look here, this is the dictionary, the American Heritage Dictionary. All right, scholarly work. It's a dictionary. Oh. Uh, 
second co second college edition, Houghton Mifflin. Okay, it's a college dictionary. All right. Now, you go to the letter A. Okay, A has the earlier ways to say the letter A, the modern. That's the modern you're looking at. But as you go right, you see the medieval way of, of writing it. Go rest of these more, the Roman way of writing the letter A. All right? Alpha in the, in the Greek. The Roman is Latin. Then you need to see the Greek. You look at number four and three. Four and three, you see the Phoenician, which would be called, which would be the Hebrews, what the Hebrews spoke. Okay? That is where it started. It started as that. And in all, and in, it's the same with all the letters in here. I can go through all the letters in here, and then you'll, you'll find the Phoenician, when it says Phoenician, just understand, that's the Phoenician uh, time period and the Phoenician era uh, and the way they was writing the, the words. And Phoenicia is, is another way of saying Israel. Phoenicians, because the um, Israel came and fought the Phoenicians and lived in that area where the Phoenicians were at in that whole area, okay? When it says Phoenicians, just know it, it's not only talking about that actual Phoenicians. All the ones in the area wrote like that, because that's the Hebrew. <clears throat> All right, so that's the evolution of the letter. Today, we write similar letters that look like this, okay? If you look at today, the A looks like a sideways I. The B looks like this, you know, you just add another hump to it. A, B, C, uh, C, they don't have the C. Uh, D, this is a G, so if they made a G, it'd be, you know, lowercase G is like that, that's similar. A D is like that, that's similar. H is like that. Okay, W is like that. Z is exactly like that. All right. Uh, K is simple. It's kind of you know like this a little bit, just a little different. And La is similar. The Ma has the humps, the Na. So you have a lot of the letters that are similar to the English, even all the way to, to today. So this is the root right here that we're teaching, where all those letters came from, and all the languages and all the letters on the earth came from the Hebrew. Okay. As far as anybody knows, uh, as evidence from that dictionary. Okay, it all comes from the Hebrew. All right. Let's move on. Brother asks for a breakdown of Shalom. Let's get it. Shalom. Okay. When you, when you write it in the Hebrew, it's Sha, La, Wa, Ma. All right. Sha, La, Wa. Okay, now, if we were to spell, this is where you get a lot of fake Israelite groups that came after the seven heads and said, well, look, look the way it's spelled. We should change it. It needs to be spelled like this. Shalom. We just discovered something. The seven heads, the scholars that started the Israelite school, UPK, that started all this stuff that looked up everything, they were wrong. We 
we found something new and special on the earth. So they run around touting Shalom. Because they think everybody, when you leave the truth and you start your own fake Israelite group, you always want something that differentiates you from the, the truth, from the originals. Because you don't want to be seen as a copycat. You want to be like, oh, we're, we're a little different than that. So you always, so they always try to tweak something or change something, you know, something ever so, so they can always seem like they're different. That was wrong. This is wrong. Okay? If you, if you were to spell it out, um, like it is spelled, Asha, La, Wa, Ma. Alright? Shala, Wa, Ma. Okay? Now, when it's to make this not a wama, you put a connector, uh, a connector, a connector between wa and ma. That makes this a m, mm, a, a m sound, m, mm, instead of a ma sound. So now when we add it together, it's um, it'll be a. Oh, sorry, right in English. Um, it's a uh, wom, right? You would think it's a wom. You would say, oh, look, it's a wom. But that's not it. It's a wom, W-M. All right? It's a W-M sound. Hebrew got rules in this, different rules, just like English got different rules. All right? It's a WM sound. WM sound. So when it comes out, it's not Shalomama or Shalom. It's a sha la shalom. Shalom. Um. WM. Um. And basically what it does is it makes the W basically silent. Okay? So it becomes, and Shalom means peace. In the English, it means peace. So it, it becomes, it becomes Shalom. Now here's another example in the language I'll show you. Jer Jerusalem, right? Jerusalem. That's how it's spelled in English. What does it mean? City of peace. Okay, the salon, the salon there is peace. Jerusalem. Now, when you write Jerusalem in the Hebrew, it's Yara Wa Shalom. Yara Wa Shalom. All right, it's Yara Wa Shalom. If that W, the W's there in the in the Hebrew writing, but it's not pronounced in the word, Yahweh Otherwise, when you see Jerusalem in English, where's the W sound? It should say Jerusalem. Why don't it say Jerusalem in the Hebrew? Because Shalom is part of Jerusalem. Yara Wa, Yara is city, Wa is of, Shalom is peace. Why isn't it pronounced Jer Jerusalem? If Shalom, if Shalom is peace in the English, I mean in the Hebrew is Shalom, when you translate it to, to English, you should have uh, the W in it. It has every other letter. The Yara, the J J this J E R, that's the Yara. J's changed it to that, to the E R, A R. Y, U, that's the U sound, changed to a U. And then Shalom, Salam, Salam, Shalom. Why isn't it a W in Jerusalem? If it's, if the correct way to pronounce, That's why you got to get the, the real Hebrew. You can't you can't get it off the uh, you know internet from uh, these 
random sources. You have to get it from the home of the truth. The reason there's no, you don't say Jerusalem as Jerusalem because the W is silent. Jerusalem would be incorrect. It's Jerusalem. And in the Hebrew, Yarawashalom, city of peace. There is no wa um, in shalom that's pronounced. It is a silent letter. The WM sound, shalom, wum, wa, ma is wum, shalom. So what happens is it drops. It's just like in English. There's lots of just random words that the, the letter just is silent in the word. I don't make the rules, but I don't break the rules, okay? This is how it's broken down, and it's the way it's been broken down. It's never been broken down as shalom. Some men just want to bring something new in the earth so they can feel like they made something new as opposed to what they really did was just copy the original. That's all they did. All these fake groups, they're just trying to be like, one West. They try to be like the ISUPK. But, like I said, all of them want to be feel like they're doing something different, or they're doing something new, or they want to they want to change it up, make it more Christian. So that's what they do. They couldn't cut it in the Israelite school UPK, so they made their own group that they can cut it in and they can smoke weed in and they can be the leader in and they don't have to, you know, have no leadership, no, not leadership. They don't have to have no rank. They don't have to take no orders. They don't have to have no, uh, nobody checking them or being uh, rough with them as far as like teaching them. They take what's called the easy road. The easy road is to just write that, make, make some shit up. It's easy. It's hard to follow the straight path, but it's easy to just, yeah, just make some stuff up. Change it up. Whoever, nobody there to stop me from changing it. Nobody there to change me or make me change it. I can just do what I want now. That's a fake Israelite group. I don't have to deal with the, the, the discipline and the, the, the order and the structure. They can, they can bypass all of that. And then they can just say, Shalom. And nobody can tell them and say, that's wrong. Nobody can say nothing they're doing is wrong. Whatever they choose to do, they can do. And nobody can tell them it's wrong. All they got to do is say, is, is say, I'm following the scriptures of what I understand. God knows my heart. Same thing the Christians do. That's why a Christian can't check a Christian. You ever hear two Christians talk about what's true and what's not? Shoot, they be having to, you know, they'll have a battle like this, like they battle in the UPK because they, no, no Christian can tell another Christian that they're wrong. All the Christianity is a, is a religion where any, everybody's right. All right. Everybody just gets forgiven. Everything, all is, is uh, forgiven. You can do whatever the hell you want to do, but not in the ISUPK. All right. So that's the breakdown on Shalom then it is not Shalom, okay? Contrary to popular opinion and popular belief. Okay. Well, let's move on. Any other questions, type, in, type them in.
let's go with uh, let's go with the twelve tribes. Let's break down twelve tribes in Hebrew. That's what we'll go over today. Okay. Let's start with uh, Judah. Let's start with Judah. Okay. Judah. All right. How do you say that? It's Yahawada. Yahawada. I believe it means the Lord's praise. All right. Let's write it in Hebrew. Yah. Ha, wa, da. Ya, ha, wa, da. Fam, ya, ha, wa, da. Ya, ha, wa, da. That is how you say Judah in the Hebrew. Ya, ha, wa, da. Okay, let's write it in the Assyrian. We didn't go over the Assyrian that much, but the Assyrian is basically. Uh, it is Hebrew with the, the characters are different. So they changed it up a little bit. Because they were in the Assyrian Empire and they might want to change up the language or the way they wrote the language so it could fit in more with the heathens. Uh, uh, that's why I put an R. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I forgive you for taking a while. I don't write that uh, Syrian as much. So, Yahweh. 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 And as we've seen with some other words, you know, sometimes the last word or the last letter of the of the word is not pronounced. So here is Yahweh da, and it's not Yahweh da ha, because this is a ha. This is a ha. It's not Yahweh da ha. It's Yahweh da. All right. That's just when you uh, when you learn the language, you kind of pick up on the words that are. Uh, you don't, you know, pronounce the last ah, and it's for us a lot of the words that are like that. All right, so now let's do Benjamin. Judah is do Benjamin. Benjamin, Benjamin, the son of the right. Banyamin, Banyamin. Okay. Ba, na, ban, yam, yam. Ban, yam, yam. Banyam, yam. Okay, banyam, yam. As I say Benjamin in the Hebrew. Ba, Ban Yam Yam. All right. Now, this is a Ba Na Ya Ma Ya Na. This three, this letter looks like a three, and this long letter here, they're both a Na. You pronounce it, you, you write it differently if the Na is in the middle of the word. Or if the na is the end, the last word, or the last letter of the word, it will look differently. It will look like that. Okay? Um, you can use these. we got these sheets like this above the board that you can print at home. Get, get with your camp leader and you can get these at home. And that way you can be able to study the letters at home. Okay? 
And then on that sheet, it gives you more of the breakdown of how to uh, write the letter if it's at the end of the word, if it's a difference. All right, Judah, Benjamin, now let's do Levi. Levi. Loya. Loya. La. La. Ya. Loya. Yeah. And I oh yeah. Might be hard to fit all these words here. Over here, let's write that in the uh, Syrian. It's the lie. Oh yeah. La. La. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Excuse me. Simeon, Simeon. Simeon. And she is Shemaiwan. 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 Nah, Shemaiwan, Shemaiwan. In the Assyrian, Shemaiwan. Shemaiwan. All right, Shemaiwan. The next letter, or the next tribe, Ephraim. 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 Also known as in Hebrew, ha ha ra yam. Means fruitful. Par is fruit. Pari. So, a ha ra yam. Pari. Uh, are young. And the Assyrian, uh, what's the pile look like? Oh, yeah. Uh, pa, uh, pa, ra, young. A party. A party. Let's get Manasseh. Manasseh. Now, these words don't really have much Yiddish that people know about. People don't really mis get like these tribes messed up in the Yiddish. I know they may say Judah and say like Yehudi. Like that's the child of Yehudi or something like that. And they say that's Yiddish. And they don't, you won't, won't hear other tribes in Yiddish because. Uh, they don't have the other tribes' names in Yiddish that they teach. Because they don't give a damn about the other tribes. Because they don't they don't know about the other tribes. They only know about Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. They don't try to talk about the other tribes because other tribes don't matter to them because they feel like they are those three tribes. And those are the only three tribes that matter because they're stupid and they, they're lying. So it's incomplete what they're talking about. They don't have all 12 tribes. And or you won't hear about all 12 tribes from them. I should be kidding you will hear because we're the home of the truth and we have the 100% knowledge. When you only have a half of a little bit of the knowledge, you're only going to be able to teach a little bit. You're going to be able to teach the whole thing. That's why they don't, they don't teach about the other tribes. Get this incense burn.
Let's get the rest of the tribes. Manasseh. Manasseh. How do you say that in the Hebrew? Manasseh. 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 All right, Manasha. Hold on a second. I was spelling that part right. All right, that's perfect. So. Here to be ma na sa manasa manasa so ma nas ha manasa alright manasa or manasha so it's manasa manasa okay and then Syrian ma na Similar to the uh, ma sorry. ma nasa. Then we got the has. There we go. Manasa. Okay, manasa. Here's six of the tribes: Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Ephraim, and Manasseh. Let's get the next tribe. Gad, tribe of Gad. Okay, it's spelled the same way in the English. Gad. All right, spelled G D. All right, God and Da. Gad. The same in the Assyrian. It's Ga and Da. Gad. Very simple. Gad. Next, the tribe of Reuben. Reuben. Or Ra'ah. Ra'ahabam. 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 So. We get a ra and a a, a a, wa, ba, ra a ba, ra a, it's like ra a ba. All right, something sun. I don't remember, but something sun. It's right in the in the Syrian. Ra. Uh, wa, ba, and na. Ra'alba. Ra'alba. Let's get Ashar or Asher. Asher is Ashar. A shaw, child of Asher. A sha ra, shaw. A shaw. Here in the Syrian, a sha ra, a shaw. A shaw. Next is Naphtali. Naphtali. Alright, let's go over who the tribes are real quick. Just so we're not uh, losing, losing ourselves, nothing like that. Let's see how we look this up a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, you see the two up top chart? Fine, perfect. Okay, tribe of Judah, Yahweh, the Negroes, tribe of Seven. All right. Tribe of Judah, Yahweh, the Negroes. Tribe of Benjamin, Banyamian, the West Indians. People is in uh, Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobago, Barbados. Uh, you know, a lot of those islands, you know, St. Mar Martinique, St. Lucia, a lot of those islands are the tribe of Benjamin, okay? That's what tribe that is, Banyamian. Next is Levi. They are the Haitians, okay? Levi, Loya, Loya, Levi, the Haitians. Tribe of Simeon, Shemaiwan. Shemaiwan is the Dominicans, all right? Not Dominica, but the Dominican Republic, those Dominicans. As I know, there's an island, I believe, called Dominica. Um, and I have not heard that those are from the tribe of Simeon, the ones in Dominica. But the Dominican Republic, that's Shemaiwan. Then you have Zebulon, Zebalawan. That's from Guatemala to Panama. Guatemala to Panama. The would be not be not wouldn't be considered as much the ancient Aztecs, but I believe the I don't even know if they're the Mayans or the Incas. I think they're a little under the Aztecs, or they was with the Aztecs, as this mostly the Aztecs are Issachar. So I couldn't tell you exactly what their Indian names were. But Zebulon is Guatemala to Panama.
Holy tough. 